answer is go away. What is good, my peoples? This is Kobe2408. As always, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share if you enjoy these videos. Make sure you hit the notification button so you know when I upload new videos or when I'm live streaming. We are looking at Orn, the new champion that is releasing in patch 717. Uh, yeah, so I'm looking at him for the first time with you guys. I am level 1 right now. So his passive allows you to forge items wherever you want. Um, as you can see, Living Forge is what it's called. Orn can spend gold to forge non-consumable items anywhere. So you can basically build anything anywhere. Additionally, Master Work upgrades for some items are available for Orn and his team to purchase. But we'll get to that in a minute. The second part is like late game items. You can upgrade some late game items. But the first part, you can build any consumable anywhere. I've never seen this before. So if I have enough gold, I can build all this? What the hell? Okay, so wait. Let's go back to this. Let's uh, actually zoom out a little bit. Let's uh, add some gold. Okay, now that I have enough gold. Wow, so these are the items you can build off the back? Really? Hmm. Not really sure. What happens if I don't want to build these items? Mm -hmm. Do I have to build these items? Okay, get out of here. What the hell is my buy menu? What happens if I want to build this item? What the heck? So you just click on it and I can build it anywhere. Crazy. Let's add some more gold real quick. This guy's passive is insane. What happens if I want a cleaver? You would never have to go back. That's crazy. That's insane. So if you had like sitting on 10k gold instead of going all the way back to the base and you have full health, I mean you could just build an item right, right where you're just standing. This passive is kind of broken. So I can just build anything. This is the upgraded cleaver if you didn't know. I'm not exactly sure what the difference is between the old cleaver and the... Oh, man. It does 550 plus attack damage. 60 plus more attack... Wait, no. 60... 20 more attack damage. And 150 more health. Cooldown reduction is the same. The passive is the same. So what's changing on these items is basically the ability power. Holy shit! 175 ability power? What the fuck? From what? Oh my god. That's insane. This is so ridiculous. What happens if I sold this item? Can I sell- can I sell items? From anywhere? Or no? No, so you can't sell items. So once you build an item, you're kind of stuck with it. I guess that makes sense. Uh, interesting, interesting. So, if I want to build this, I can just build it right here. Well, wow, Sunfire Cape. How about this item? So basically, you can build any- You can build any item, wherever you want. That's crazy. I.E. Right there. <laughs> so This is so crazy. Okay, so if I built this catalyst, does it give me another upgrade? Yeah, the only issue is like selling these items. Okay, let's say you f mess up and you're like, I don't want this item anymore. You have to go back and sell it. So that's kind of the downside of Orin. Okay. That's pretty dope. I like that. Okay, let's just level him up now and see what he does. So, we know his passive. Basically, you can build an, any item wherever you want. Insane. Except for consumables, it said. So, I can't buy pots, right? Okay, yeah. How about wards? Nope. But you can buy everything else. Okay. So, anything that's not a consumable. That's a consumable. That's a consumable. That's a consumable. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's take a look at his spells now. This guy's a beast. All right, let's take a look at his Q. Nice. I had made a mistake that I, I thought this part would knock people up, but it actually doesn't knock people up. It's just a trundle Q. It is extremely, extremely laggy. I know it says 42 MS, but that's just the PBE. That's just normally how the PBE is. Wait, let's see if... Does it knock up anybody? I don't think so. Let's take a look. No, nope, not doesn't knock up. It's just a trundle Q. Or not a trundle Q, a trundle pillar. 
But, wow, it is awfully laggy. But that's okay. We're going to get through this. Here's his W. It's basically a rumble, rumble Q. Then they become brittle. If you didn't know what this effect is doing, it um, the fire actually makes people brittle. Brittle? And for the... Let's see. For six seconds, makes them brittle. The next immobilizing effect against a brittle enemy has its duration increased by 30% and deals 16% uh, their maximum health. So basically, if you have CC, you make somebody brittle, and you CC them, it lasts, um, I don't know, maybe a second or two longer. That's really it. Maybe a half a second. So... Yeah, somebody CCs this person and they it lasts about like a half a second longer, which is which is a long time in League of Legends um, Especially being CC'd even for a second is a very long time if someone can burst you down, but that's his W pretty insane and Then you hit him boom. Okay leg There we go. All right. It is the server leg. That's what's going on here So many people are trying to get on to try to play the new champion. So here's his E uh, His E can actually ram through um a Nivea wall can actually break through that. Which is crazy. I wonder if it can go through Azir's ultimate. I had said that in the last video. I don't think so. If Orin rams into the train resulting in a shockwave. Okay, so let's see the shockwave. Nice. So this is almost like a Poppy... Poppy's W, I think? I don't know what her slam is. I think it's E or W, but it's basically what that is. Except for this one knocks people up and doesn't, um, stun them against the wall. It's, well, it stuns them in there, but, I mean, anyways, you know what I'm talking about. Um, Poppy's doesn't knock people up, but here's his ultimate. Just see it without doing any interaction. So you can actually reactivate your ultimate to hit it, like, in any direction you want. So, for example, here comes his ultimate, the ram. <laughs> well, that was garbage. Okay. It is so laggy. What? It, I can't hit it. It's just, it's too laggy. There we go. There we go. As long as I don't get these really bad lag spikes, I think we'll be okay. Nice. That is, this, this ram is insane. Okay, hold on. It is, it's lagging really, 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 really bad right now. Okay. Or I'm just really bad. That could be it. <laughs> but it is it's pretty bad. Um, let's see if I can get these dummies. Because you can actually knock these dummies up. So, you call down the ulti. What is going on? PvE, don't fail me now. There we go. Boom. So, on the way forward, the ram doesn't knock anybody. It just kind of makes people brittle. brittle and then you can um, knock people up if you hit the ram back. This is crazy. This guy's insane. The only thing is selling items. Let's say I want this item. Can I just start forging it? <laughs> I got an AP item. Nice. What's his scaling? Magic resist. I think that's... I don't know what the purple is. Oh. Wait, health. Armor and magic resist, actually. I think that's health, right? No, it's not health. It's, uh, ar wait. Armor and magic resist, I think it is? Yeah, armor and magic resist. Crazy. But that is Orn. So basically, you can build anything anywhere. Uh, he's really good for late game. Anybody who wants late game items, like, these items are insanely strong. Let's just take a look at the items very quickly one more time. 300 health, 300 mana is still the same, but more health, more magic resist by 90. Jeez, what's Trinity Force? So, everything by 100, basically. 100 more health, 100 more mana, 10 more attack damage, 10 more attack speed, cooldown reduction is the same, movement speed is up by 3. Let's see, IE. 100 attack damage? Holy. Passive is still the same. Ah, it's not that bad. I guess if, it, if they did anything more to the IE, it would be way too strong. This guy has really good synergy. Obviously, he's a very team-oriented. 50 magic resist. Wait, 75 magic resist and 50 armor. That's a lot. It's a lot of magic resist. Uh, 15. Maybe it's not that much. 20. What about redemption? 300 health. 150 base. 200 base. 150 base health. Whoa. 
200 base mana. That's a lot of base health regen. Look at this. 150, I mean. It's 100 more. This one's only 50 mana base regen. I guess that would... 100 more would do too much. 60... Let's see Sunfire Cape. So it looks like you can only have one upgrade, though. So... It depends on how you... Obviously, for... For this guy, Orin, you'd obviously either get Infernal Mask or Sunfire Cape, or maybe even a Locket. I mean, there's a few things I guess you could buy with him. However, most APs are going to want to upgrade the Rabidon's Hat. Uh, I do buy a Rabidon's Hat on a lot of my champions, uh, but it's more, again, late game. Redemption is bought quite often with your uh, support, so that's going to come in handy. Again, the passives don't change. It's just the base uh, stats that are changing, which are a lot. It is by a lot. And what's the upgrade? I think the upgrade is like 3,800 gold total. So it's a lot of gold. Uh, crazy. Wait, l let's actually see. One second. I have to see exactly how much the base. Okay, so 3,000. So it's only 1,000 more extra gold. Depends on what it is. So what's it on the hat? A thousand more extra gold. It's just a th okay. So a thousand more extra gold. Wait, redemption is actually cheaper to upgrade. Uh, let's see, redemption. It's only five hundred gold to upgrade, which makes sense. I mean, it's a support item, so supports. I mean, can't afford a thousand gold. Um, it would be an absolute waste for them. But that is the new champion, Orin. I'm gonna have some gameplay on that. I think the item thing is pretty crazy. Uh, we'll have to see how his spells work out. Uh, Q, I'm not really sure about. W, yeah, he doesn't move as fast as uh, Rumble, so, you know, I think it's okay. But we'll take a look in some gameplay. As always, make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and share. I'm Kobe24. Thank you for watching, and you guys stay awesome, my friends, and I'm out. Peace.